software quality assurance and test engineering. So, um, and so one of the challenges that we have in the world now is, is that, well, anyone can make software. So to distinguish my company versus say Dave or Jim's company, if I really wanna stand out as a software company, all three of us are gonna be studying, how do we test our software and how do we prevent bugs or faults from keeping into our software while we scale up and grow it, right? Uh, any bug that makes it out into our user's hands takes away from the whole experience and is very costly. So this is part of the focus of uh, software quality assurance and test engineering. Really uh, a very popular program appealing to a lot of folks with different uh, backgrounds. And, and, and this program is um, pretty friendly for folks kind of entering the field. We teach C-sharp programming fundamentals in the first term, for example, right? So uh, we, we really help students kind of get off to a good start. Uh, and then, you know, building out from there, uh, there's a lot of great ways to combine their, your knowledge in this uh, quality assurance and test engineering space uh, to, you know, immediately help uh, the companies where you might work as a co-op student or uh, as a graduate employee uh, down the road. But as you can see here, when we talk about, you know, thinking about, well, I really want to get, you know, two years of education at Conestoga planned out uh, as I'm coming to Canada for the first time here, how can I do that? Well, a number of our programs, um, you know, for instance, software quality assurance and test engineering, very friendly for someone entering this field, uh, computer application development, also another very friendly graduate certificate for people kind of entering this field. Um, but doing your first uh, a graduate certificate in uh, SCATE, as I call it, uh, would set you up for some good success in the AI and machine learning uh, program afterwards. So thinking kind of strategically about how to achieve a good grounding in that first graduate certificate while you look at your second year or your second graduate certificate, um, we can help plan that out, help you plan that out and help you find those uh, opportunities. Like for instance, those involved in uh, a quest to, to learn more about cybersecurity you do very well to look at our IT network security and our computer application security graduate certificates and how those two can really complement each other uh, and help you uh, develop strong cybersecurity capabilities. Um, last note here, um, I'm heavily involved in the area of applied research at the college and uh, I help uh, uh, lead our virtual and augmented reality uh, research lab or VAR lab. Um, we collectively nowadays, we hire annually almost 200 or just over 200 students this past year to work on a range of applied research projects, uh, including uh, projects that we develop for Conestoga College inside of our, our VAR lab. Uh, but we have, we, have, we have projects all over the place. Uh, another AI and machine learning project. We, we helped a company build a potato picker that uh, pulls potatoes out of the ground and then calculates the volume the, of, the, of the harvest for the farmers on the fly by uh, using a photographic analysis uh, on the machine. Uh, so we, we get involved in all kinds of sectors. And uh, I just wanted to share this really quickly, just to generate a little bit of excitement and encourage you to understand that we, we really take our position as a leader in the Waterloo region, uh, a tech community very seriously, and we heavily, heavily invest uh, in, in these opportunities. Mm -hmm.